Welcome to Once Upon a Crime, stories from the underbelly of faraway land, where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip and the weather, I'm Kyle. And I'm Lucy. Our first story... Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today. Accused by the three little pigs are deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr Wolf claims hay fever was to blame and that his client was a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter Boston with more. Mr Wolf. I'm here in the faraway jail with the big bad wolf and his lawyer. Mr Wolf, you have been charged with the destruction of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? My acts were not committed by myself, but the three little pigs. It was their fault for building such breakable houses. What my client is trying to say, that he has been mistaken for a villain, but he's just a slightly sick wolf. You've been impersonating both a grandmother and a sheep. Who is the big bad wolf, really? Well, the day I dust around the little pig's houses, I was hungry for breakfast and there was no bacon. So I went to the pig's houses and they insulted me. And as you know, I tend to get mad easily and I shouted too loud and the pig's houses just disappeared. What do you have to say to the good people of faraway land who you think who you think who are nothing more than a dangerous criminal? Are you watching this? Mind your own business and goodbye. The big bad wolf, wolf is very mad right now. Good night. Well, thank you for those thoughts, Mr. Wolf. Back, the, back. Good luck with the trial. Back to the studio. Now for news of escaped, kidnapped heroes, Hansel and Gretel. Their story captured the hearts of the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They were spoken out for the first time about their ordeal in their new book, Blackbirds, A.R. Breadcrumbs, The Hansel and Gretel Story. A reporter friend was at the book's release in the deep, dark forest, the scene of their terrible tale. Hello, I'm Ren, and with me are Hansel and Gretel. You're obviously very rich now, having found all the jewels in the old witch's house. How do you plan on spending all that money? Well, I want to spend the money on fancy stuff for our father and kick our stepmother out. She's hideous and cruel for leaving us in the forest. Yes, after we sued the old witch's family, we became even richer. We've got so much money to spend. Hansel, you're back in great shape after being fattened up for eating. How did you do it? Mainly writing all my signatures from my new book release and running from fans. Um, it was actually all me. I set up an exercise course for him and everything. I'm such a great sister. What have you learnt through this experience? Um, if you go into the forest and need a trail back, don't take bread, take rocks. Yeah, I agree. Plus, don't be so gullible that which was so suspicious and we didn't even notice. Well, thank you for your time. Good luck with the ongoing recovery. Back to the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that all is not well for the celebrity oh, of the marriage of celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of the album of duets, sources are saying that this happily ever after might not last much longer. We go now to our reporter Layla. Thanks, Kaya, and hello, everyone. I'm Layla here in the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast, and hello and smooches to you both. Now, yours was a classic love story where two opposites fell in love against the odds. How's it all going with you two? Well, the first month is like sprinkles and rainbows. Beauty and I are very comfortable staying married. Beast is very lovely and all, but when he shaves, he leaves clumps of fur everywhere around the castle and he smells like dead deer skin. Now, you're something of a beauty, beauty, and you're a total beast, beast. What's the reality of living with someone who's completely different from you? Beauty is nice to have around, but she leaves all her dirty laundry all over the stairs every day. Oh, come on, beast. You can't complain about me when you smell like burnt steak when you have a hot shower. Your recent duet album did not sell well and your fashion label has gone bust. What's next for you two lovebirds? Sign the divorce papers. 
Well, thanks for that, Beauty and the Beast. I wish you all the best for the future. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Layla. Now it's time for a faraway weather update with Maggie, who will have the fairest weather of them all this week. Well, it will be a mix of fair and foul for the faraway kingdom this week. In the north, there will be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbows for everybody. The sun will shine and birds will sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep, dark forest will be deep and dark all week with occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells moving down the land. The green fields will be turned snow white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap up warm if you're living in a house made of sticks, straw or gingerbread. So it'll be fee, fire, fill, freezing. Finally, trolls living under the bridges in the west might want to find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it's a happy ending to the working week for most of us. Back to the news desk. Thanks, Maggie. That'll be all for tonight. Um, although we've just had word that the big, bad wolf has escaped jail since our interview. He's hungry, angry, he's hangry and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked. Stay safe from a once upon a crime. Good night. Oh, <laughs>